Hey guys, what's up? This is Alejandro Narbona from Eclipse Corporativo. I hope you're doing great. Yeah, not a Luz. How are you today, guys? Hey, I'm doing good. Doing good? Yeah. Okay. Well, lucky for you or too bad for you, I'm here. <laughs> Why? So, por suerte o para mala suerte de ustedes, aquí estoy. Ah. <laughs> there is class. All right. Let's get ready to start. Um, hi, what's up, David? So let me see you, Romulo, Erika, good. There's plenty of people. Are you ready, guys? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. Yes. yes. Good. Thank you for waiting for me, though. Los pobrecitos de la otra clase los dejé a media. No hay inspiración. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover today's lesson. No vamos a hacer el recap por el tiempo perdido. So let's do it. Lesson objective. Read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Continue building English conversational skills. Continue, Continue building, building English, English conversational, 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 conversational skills. skills. By learning English expressions of quantity. By, By learning, learning English expressions of quantity. quantity. By the end of this class, you will be able to discuss. By the, By end, the end of this of class, class will be, you will be able, be able to, discuss. to discuss transportation, uh -huh. transportation services <laughs> using adverbs of quantity. Transportation, transportation services, services, services using adverbs of, of quantity. quantity, including enough, many, including enough, fewer, enough. and more. Including yeah. enough, many, 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 many fewer, fewer, and, and more. more. Practice incorporating expression quantity in phrases such as practice, practice is incorporating expression of quantity, quantity in phrases, phrases such as, such as there aren't enough buses. There, there aren't, aren't enough, enough, enough buses. buses. There aren't enough buses. Or we need more public transportation. Oh, or we need, we need more, more public, public transportation. <laughs> There should be fewer cars. There should, there should be, be fewer, fewer cars. cars. And there isn't enough parking downtown. And, and there, there isn't, isn't enough, enough parking downtown. downtown. Parking downtown. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So let's go ahead and work with it. Let's go ahead and work with it. Give me a second. <laughs> One moment, please. Um, this is yesterday's class, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, give me a minute. So, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and move. It was 2.6 indirect questions. Okay, good. That was my bad. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and practice. Lesson objective. Again, learn how to ask and answer indirect questions in English. Learn how to ask and answer indirect questions, 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 questions in English. In English. Good. Indirect, indirect, same thing. You choose the pronunciation. In this lesson, practice using indirect questions by discussing a city or new destination. In this, in this lesson, lesson practice using, using indirect questions question by discussing a series or new destination. Mm -hmm. By the end of this class, you'll be able to form polite indirect questions. By, by the end, end, end of this class, class, class we will be able to form polite, polite indirect polite questions. questions. Such as, could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know, you know where, where the nearest, the nearest ATM, ATM, is? ATM is? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Can, can you, you tell, tell me, me how, how often the buses, buses run? run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Do you, do you know, know where, where I can catch, 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 catch the bus? Or the bus? This lesson will help you seek information using polite, grammatically correct English. This lesson will help you seek information using polite, grammatically correct English. 
Very good. So guys, um, we're going to be using indirect questions. Um, a direct question is the this one. Where's the restroom? ¿Dónde está el baño? This is a direct question. Now, an indirect question is going to be, could you tell me where the restroom is? ¿Me podría decir dónde está el baño? So it's more polite. Let's go ahead and pay attention to this. There are the structure is not difficult, but it has a little bit of a trick. Tiene un poquito de truco. So let's go ahead and pay attention. Mute your microphones. And if you have any question, write it down. Si tienen alguna pregunta, escriban. Okay? Let's work on this. Mute your mics, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer indirect questions about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're going to learn is we're going to learn some rules that we're going to follow in changing these questions from direct to indirect questions. We're going to learn how to do it with the verb to be. And we're also going to learn how to change WH questions with either do or did. Now let's try to make sense of this whole concept here. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank, into an indirect question. And the way that we'll do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb. So in this case, could you tell me? All right, and then this is going to be followed by a WH word. In this case, it happens to be where, but it could be any other WH word. For example, it could be what time, how often, when, etc. Any kind of WH word is what we're going to include here. So could you tell me, and in this case, I will ask where. This is going to be followed by the subject. So in this case, it happens to be the bank, where the bank, and then finally, we're, we're going to include the verb. So in this case, could you tell me where the bank is? And just so that we follow the pattern that I'm proposing here, I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for now. 
Now let's try to make sense of that second question that you see there towards the bottom. Where are the restrooms? That's the direct question. What we want to do is we want to turn that question into an indirect question. And you can do that in different ways. For example, you can do that by asking, do you know? Okay, or using another model verse. So in this case, I'm going to propose in using this um, polite way of doing it. Okay, so I'm basically just going to copy that so you can see that it's the, basically the same pattern that we're following. We have, could you tell me? And that follows a WH word, so in this case, where? Okay, so the subject is what's going to change now. And instead of saying the bank, we're not going to say the restrooms. And then it's going to follow the verse. So in this case, it happens to be that since restrooms are plural, then we're going to use the verb to be are instead of the verb to be is. And um, well, um, the phrase here could change, as I mentioned, just like we have it there on the book. Do you know where the restrooms are? And basically, we're going to follow the same pattern for the questions that you see towards the bottom mentioned, just like we have it there on the book. All right, guys, you still here? Yes. Yes, yes. everybody waking up, right? Yeah, I know. It's a five-minute yeah, yeah, yeah. video. Yeah, yeah. Um, good. How, how do you feel, or, or how would you feel if uh, you are at the bus station relaxed, waiting for the bus, and someone comes and tells you, hey, que hora es? And you're going to be like, what? <laughs> yeah, surprised, right? Yeah. But if you're at the bus station and someone approaches you and tells you, uh, disculpe, me podría decir que hora es? Now, be careful. It can be a trick so they can steal your phone, right? But you are more confident because they are asking politely. Están preguntando más educadamente. So, um, um, a direct question is, ¿qué hora es? An indirect question is, ¿me podría decir qué hora es? Es más amable. So, mm -hmm. what we are using right here are a couple of uh, expressions. Could you tell me? Say with me, please. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Where the bank is? Where, where the, the bank, bank is. Is. is? So, this is the direct question. Where is the bank? The only difference that we are going to have in this structure, guys, is that you are going to add. Here it is. You're going to add the phrase. Could you tell me? Do you know? Etc. And uh, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna send the verb to be to the end. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Where are the restrooms? This is a direct question. Where the restrooms are. are. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much the only difference in this structure because you can you can make the it. Restrooms are. Mm -hmm. Do you know where the restrooms what time? are? What time? Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and transform some direct questions into indirect questions using the verb to be. Okay. Now let me just wait for my total to load. Here it is. I'm opening a, a Word document right here. Okay. All right, so here it is. Oh, I gotta get that document back. Okay, never mind, that's just for me. <laughs> Ask me a direct question, please. WH. Where, why, how? What what time is what time is this? Okay. What time is it? Nice, time. give me another one. Where is the bus stop? Where is the bus stop? Mm -hmm. What else? Guys, 
WH which B. Where can I buy food? Ah, okay, good. That's gonna be the next structure. But let's go ahead and do it. Where can I buy food? We're gonna use it later on. Ask me a question with why and it. Or with any other WH. <laughs> what is your name? It's the ATM. I'm sorry? Who are with you? Okay, there it is. Okay. Where is the bathroom? Yeah, that's very similar. <laughs> To the previous one. Um, is the ATM work? No. no. Is the ATM? Where, where do you work? Okay. Yeah, but that's the next one. Okay, let's go ahead and convert this one. Why? Because we have the verb. We have the verb to be, right? So the structure is going to be a phrase. And then you're going to repeat pretty much what you have and send the verb to be to the end. Practically, the structure will be a phrase. All right, la estructura va a ser la frase. Ahí está. Would you tell me? Así es. Así es. Okay. What time is? What time? I miss it. Miss it. What time? It is. Yes. It is. Uh -huh. Could you tell me what time it is? Why? Because we're going to have the verb to be at the end. Okay. Um, where is the bus stop? Could you tell me where, where is where, where the bus, the stop, bus is? stop is? Uh -huh. Where the bus, where is stop, the bus stop, stop is? Is exactly. What is your name? Could you tell me what your name is? What? Your name. What your name is. is. What is your name? So, prácticamente tenemos esta what frase, el could you tell me, más el what is your name, pero el to be lo mandamos al fondo. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's exactly how do you make it. Now, let's go ahead and continue with, is there any question with this? Uh, teacher, un, un example about, with, do, do you know? Okay, sure. No, pero aquí no, porque es como que no se acuerda el nombre. Aquí, mm -hmm. with this one. Do you know la frase? What time it is? Is, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, lo que cambia aquí, guys, como les digo, la estructura sería la frase más la misma pregunta, pero con el to be al fondo. Mm -hmm. Eso es todo. En inglés me gusta explicarlo como que fuera un rompecabezas. Ustedes hagan un pedacito de esto y luego ponen otro, y así van como intercambiando piezas. All right? Como los que han, tienen carros, no sé, algo viejitos que ya no han repuesto. No, mira, a ver si le cabe el de un tercel. Ahí, ahí van. Right? Sí. Porque es, la, es lo mismo, ¿verdad? solo que es la misma estructura, el mismo patrón. Solo estamos ocupando otra palabra, en, esta casa, en este caso, otra marca. Un repuesto japonés, chino, etc. De que le queda, le queda. Now, let's go ahead and go back to this. Because we're going to go with the next one. Let's continue. Do you know where the restrooms are? And basically, we're going to follow the same pattern for the questions that you see towards the bottom. The only difference here is that we're no longer using the verb to be. We're using other verbs. And we could be talking about the present, we could be talking about the past, and that's what it means by either do or did. So let's try to make sense of those as well. So in this case, it's a similar pattern, if you will. How often do the buses leave? Okay, what we want to do is we want to be able to change this question into an indirect question. And again, we can use the same pattern that you see here. So for, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this previous one that you see there so that you can see that uh, just, or just a few things will change. So in this case, could you tell me, I mean, that's similar thing. Could you tell me? And we're going to use 
uh, the uh, WH question. So in this case, is going to be how often. All right. And then that is followed by the subject. So in this case, the subject is the buses. And then that is followed by the verb. And so in this case, it's no longer the verb to be, but now it's the verb leave. How often do the buses leave? Could you tell me how often the buses leave? Let's try to make sense of the other questions that you see there towards the bottom. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to use a polite way of asking. So you can ask in the form of, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? Um, and then it just repeats itself with do you know. So in this case, we're going to use do you know. That's the second question there. Do you know what time the bank opens? So let me go ahead and write that example now. Do you know? That follows the WH word. So in this case, is what time? Then that follows the subject. And one thing that I want you to notice here is that in our indirect question, we remove the auxiliary verb. So we don't include does or do. It no longer exists in our indirect question. Do you know what time the bank opens? And the other thing that happens here is that the verb in this case will need to have an S. And that's because since we don't have an auxiliary verb and the subject of the verb is singular and we're talking in the present, therefore we need an S as you can see there. And uh, well, let's do the last one there. Uh, what, um, when did flight 566 arrive? So in that case, um, the question could be, do you know? And the WH word is when. And uh, the subject is flight 566. And in this case, we have to change the verb to the past because we're not, we're not using an auxiliary. Uh, like we're using the auxiliary, when did flight 566 arrive? In this case, this verb is in the present, but that's because we're using the auxiliary did. So in this case, since we removed that auxiliary verb that I mentioned, we need to change that verb to the past form. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to practice the concepts that we talked about. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post some questions here. These are common questions that people ask whenever they visit another country, another city, a place you're not familiar with. What are those questions? For example, how much do taxes cost? And remember that our goal is to change these direct questions into indirect questions. And you're going to follow this formula that I gave you. So how much do taxes cost? Well, you're going to use do you know or could you tell me or can you tell me? And then follow this formula. All righty, fellas. So let's get back into business. A is polite way of asking. So you can ask. In is this one more complicated? Mm. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Okay. So um, remember the structure for this with verb to be is, what is the structure? <laughs> Expression. <laughs> Double H question. Yeah. To make subject. 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 Plus verb. Plus verb. Plus verb. Yeah. To make it easy, normally I break it down that way. Break down, break something down. It's like separado. I break it down that way. Um, so you understand. But this one, because it's a little bit complex, expression, the WH question, and the verb to be at the end. Why? This is a tip that I want to I wanna give you. If it looks like a question is wrong, and you're going to find the pattern. Si después de la expresión todavía tiene la misma estructura de una pregunta, está mala. No está bien formulada. Eso lo, nos tenemos que grabar. So the indirect question follows here. That pretty much, how often do the buses leave? Can you tell me how often the buses leave? So what you're going to do is that you're going to eliminate the auxiliary.
Okay, so expression, the same sentence, and you have to make sure that you conjugate the verb. Tiene que asegurarse que el verbo vaya conjugado. The buses leave. So, for example, if you notice here, there is no, there is no auxiliary. Look, there is no auxiliary. But when I tell you that you got to keep an eye on the verb and you have to conjugate it is, here is fine, the buses leave. But here, the bank opens. Why? Because it, the bank is it. So you need to use third person. The flight arrived. Okay. So, any questions so far? No. No. Mm, okay. I, I I have a question, teacher. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, when you don't have auxiliary verb and talk in present, you use a s for the verb. Or oh, what is the rule for when you don't have a auxiliary verb and talk in present? Normally, you use if. Normally use it if, but, and when do you use the verb in past? When the question that you want to ask is in past. Okay. Uh -huh. Si tú quieres nice, pre nice. preguntar algo en el pasado, entonces ahí el use. verbo se conjuga. Exacto. Okay. Now, this, it might seem a little bit complicated. I sent something to you though. I sent a link where, don't check it yet because you can get confused. But you're going to watch after this class, you will be able to identify the pattern. All right. And what we're going to do is the following. I'm going to show you an image and you are going to work as a team so you can make them um, indirect questions. So remember, structure, expression, with verb to be. Then you use the same question, but with the verb to be at the end. Expression. With other mm -hmm. verbs, you remove the auxiliary do or did, and then you conjugate the verb. Estamos más o menos? Yes. Could you tell me where I can find the last class, please? Excellent example. Excellent example, Yadder. Yes, last class is going to be on YouTube perhaps tomorrow morning. I've been having a couple of difficulties here. So, are you ready to practice, my friends? Yes. Yes? All right. Give me a second then. Yeah. Let me get this for you. <clears throat> Give me a second. I'll be there in a minute. Where are you, boy? Oh. That's where. Mm hmm. Okay, here I'm going to show you something which is extra material. Give me a minute. Where? Here it is. Yeah, could you tell me where I can find the last? Okay, I got it. I found it. <clears throat> Sorry about this. Now, we know already <laughs> is at the end, are at the end. With WH questions with do, we eliminate do, and we conjugate the verb. Now, when you have can, this is another one. Do you know where I can catch the bus? So the point here, and I want to show you this. What you do here is that instead of saying can I, you move it to I can. Le damos vuelta al orden. Right. La idea, guys, es cuando ustedes tengan esta expresión, es que esto no parezca una pregunta, porque si tiene el mismo orden, entonces no es indirect, es una pregunta directa. Solo le pusieron una frase. Okay? So the change is here. Do you know where I can catch the bus? Instead of where can I? Where can I uh -huh. catch the bus? Is that one clear? <coughs> 
Okay? Yes. All right. Now, this is what I wanted you to do. Here, you have a couple of questions. How much does the bus cost? Now, van a empezar acá. Si tiene do o does, ocupamos esta. Aquí ustedes tienen que buscar el patrón. Se los digo en español para que todo esté muy claro, porque no es el material de la página web. If you have do, you're going to use do. If you have is, you're going to use this structure. Okay? Now, do, do, can. Oh, so if you have can, you're going to use this structure. Do, do, is. So you can refer to the right structure. So guys, go ahead and work together. I'm going to split the rooms. And I have to send this to your WhatsApp. Give me a second. I'm going to send it via WhatsApp so you can have it with you. Any questions so far? No. No? OK. No. Yeah, con esto, sorry, que lo de la luz no nos dio tiempo de, como de empaparnos un poquito más del tema. Los escucho bien callados ahorita. No sé si es por la lluvia o porque el tema los tiene un poquito confusos. If you don't really understand, guys, let me know. Si de verdad no entienden a full, déjenmelo saber. I'm here to help you out. Simple as that. So, check your... No, I cannot send images via this chat. Go ahead and check your WhatsApp in a couple of minutes because my WhatsApp is loading. And uh, accept the invites right now so you can work on the questions, okay? Van a ser esas directas, indirectas. Any question? No. No? All right. No. no. There we go. Help each other, please. Si ven que los cambio de de grupo es porque alguno se ha quedado solo, así que estén buzos a aceptar la invitación. Ok, there it goes. Ok. Can you tell me where the bank is? And the another one? The, the other one? Me? What? The other one. The other one. Uh -huh. Okay, the other one. Um, Seria, can you tell me what time do the open bus? No. Can you can you tell me what time the 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 bank opens or the or the open banks, Ali? The bank opens because the bank the is your subject. Oh, okay, the mm -hmm. bank opens. Correct. Bank opens. Don't change the the order. Just keep ah. the order as it is, and just make sure you eliminate do 
or did, and mm -hmm. conjugate the verb if it's third person or past. Okay. 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 okay the, um, do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? What? Which one is that? Where is it? Are you are you working with the ones I sent? With the, the WhatsApp. Uh huh. Uh, let the, me see. The ones on what on WhatsApp. Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Forget it. <laughs> Forget. <laughs> no, nah, don't worry. It's, it's practice, anyways. All right. Okay. Let me let me check another group. Any question? You can text me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Es el verbo. Lo conjugué. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, bye. Uh, how late do the bus run? Uh, sería, could you tell me how late uh, the buses runs? Uh, analyze that one. The buses, is that third person? Uh, sería it, ¿verdad? Se ocupa, se le agrega la S el verbo. Ah, ok, I got it. In this case, it's going to be it's they. Va a ser they porque está en plural, los buses. Entonces no puede ah, ser uh -huh. he, she, ni it. Teacher, excuse me. Tell me. I don't get message in my phone, in my WhatsApp. Erika. Yes. Okay, um, are you in the group? Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. I know, in a, in a group, WhatsApp, no. No estás en grupo? No. Okay, bye. Give me a second, let me, in that case, let me go ahead and contact the person here. Give me a second. I'm gonna do it as we speak, otherwise I will forget. Um, Erika, what is your full name? Yes, my phone number is... Your full, full name. Six five eight zero. Uh, give, give me just a second. Um, it's gonna be your full name, please. The number complete. Ah, my full name. <laughs> Perdón. Erika Yanet Gonzalez. Okay. Good. So I went ahead and send send this information to him, so he can add you. To the WhatsApp group is the, the the guy who manages this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Así que le tendré que caer. Espero yo el día de mañana para que ya pueda estar pues al pendiente. Okay. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Continue, uh, girls. Remember, if it's he, she, or it, you conjugate the verb. If not, if it's plural, you leave it as it is. Okay. All right. Continue. Okay. Uh, it's my turn. Sería, do you know how late do the buses run? El do is you can use the you can't use the do because there's okay. the second form wh yeah. question with do in the say in the in the this case you can I don't know how do you say elimina. Eliminate. Eliminate mm -hmm. uh, the verb <laughs> did or do. In this okay. case, how is uh, from, can you tell, tell me, me how late how the bus is from? But use uh -huh. the, not the, ah, okay, yes. You eliminate the verb do, yes? Yeah. Uh -huh. Or the verb did, okay. And the answer, uh, can you tell me how late the bus is from? It's uh -huh. around, 10 or 10 at uh, night or 10 p.m. 
Nine or ten p.m. Yeah. At midnight. At midnight. Like, it's nice answer. Okay. Yeah. Number five is your real uh, Rodolfo. Where can I get a quick meal? Okay. Is the third get a quick meal. Yeah, it's the last um, one. Do you know? Do you know? Uh -huh. Can I get a quick meal? Yeah. Where? It's where right. can I? Where I can? Where are I can? Ah, where I can? can. Where uh, I can? I get a quick meal. Yes. Um, the answer is yes. You. You maybe. Uh, maybe find open. You can. Um, good job. Good job, guys. Continue. Let me check another okay. group. You're managing okay. well. Al final, siempre con el oh. open. Uh -huh. o, por, o por qué siempre va con lugares para el S al final. No, es cuando íbamos a conjugar un verbo en pasado. Ah, ok. Uh, uh -huh. Casi, 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 okay. casi. ¿No? Casi. Ahora sí. All right. Which one are you doing? What number? Number three? The, the, number no, the seven. Six, six, six. six. How late? Do the nightclubs stay open? Ah, okay. So in this one, because remember that you are eliminating the auxiliary do. So uh -huh. you have to pay attention to the subject. The nightclubs is mm. plural. Uh, so that's why you uh, don't need the S. But exercise number three, you do you do use, could you tell me what time the banks, the, oh, no, 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 también tenemos the banks. Uh -huh. The banks. Va, digamos que no tenemos nightclubs en plural. We have nightclubs in singular. That would be it. Therefore, is third person. Si fuera tercera persona con el sujeto, como es simple present, tenemos que ponerle la S al, al verbo. O la ES okay. o la IES. So, oh, okay. you have to pay attention to the subject. Si el verbo fuera he, she, or it, It's van a modificar el, 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 el verbo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por eso está en número it's, cuatro, uh -huh. the buses. ¿Sí? Es en plural, no lleva S. The bank, uh -huh. no lleva S. Pero Entonces, si fuera the okay. bank o the bus, ahí sí, porque sería it. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ok, I got it. All right. All right, continue, guys. All right. Okay. I think, um, I don't know about you, we're going to go back. And if you have a few more minutes, we can complete the exercise. Si se, si se pueden quedar un par de minutitos para completar el ejercicio, los okay. que quieran, okay. vamos a terminar. Okay. okay. All right, let me go to the main room. Okay. All right, guys, so welcome back to the ones that are here. Um, in five seconds, we're going to have everybody back. Okay, so if you have a few minutes, I would like you, I would like to finish the exercises. Si me pueden dar un par de minutitos, me gustaría que los pudiéramos terminar, okay? No se quedan con ese... Okay, teacher. Esa angustia. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. So let's go ahead and work on the exercises we have. Because the idea is for you to learn. I need a space. Okay, so I don't have much space, so I'm gonna do it here, okay? Now, how much does the bus cost? Could you tell me how much the bus cost? Could you tell me? Ya how much the bus cost? How much the bus? The bus cost. Cost or costs? Cost with S. Costs, uh-huh. 
exactly. Could you tell me how much the bus costs? Why? Because the yeah. bus is third person. Ah, so, okay. Como le hemos quitado el dos, aquí ya viene conjugado en tercera persona. Hay que Teacher. balancearlo. Entonces, por eso le ponemos la S al final. Go ahead. If I talk in... Teacher, teacher. yeah. Uh -huh. If I talk in, in, in the past, in the third person, uh, we um, lost the S too. Oh, yes. Letter S. Uh -huh. That's a very yeah. good question. The S is not used in the past tense. If this ah, okay. were, how much did the bus cost? This is a hypothetical scenario. Uh -huh. It's going to be here. How much the bus costed? Ah, cost. Okay, only conjugate. Uh -huh. You got to conjugate the verb. Conjugate. And sometimes I've seen you. cost in past. A veces he visto cost en pasado sin conjugarlo. También. But I need to Teacher. double check that verb. Mm -hmm. Teacher and... We should use can you tell me or could you tell me in this statement? It doesn't matter. It's both. Could you tell me is more polite than can. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go with the next one so you can enjoy your night. I know it's late. Where's the nearest internet cafe? Do you know where's the nearest internet cafe? Do you, know? Do you know where the where nearest, the nearest, nearest internet, internet cafe, cafe is? is? Uh -huh. no. Nearest internet cafe is. is. Mandamos al fondo, al verb to be. Okay, good job. Copy what you got. Next one. What time do the banks, do the banks open? Can do you know? Do you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know um, what time the bank the banks open? Uh -huh. The banks open. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Le dimos en la NEC al DU. That's it. Yeah. Luego ocupamos lo mismo. Good job. Number four. How late do the buses run? Do you know how late the buses run? Do you know? How late the buses run? Run, run. run. run or runs? Run, run, run. 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 Why? Uh, because, because the subject is plural. Uh, it's plural. plural. Because the subject is plural, exactly. Uh -huh. Y aquí mismo le da el tip, porque el do está normal, sin el dos. All right, good job. Number five, where can I get a quick meal? Can you tell me, me. Can you tell me? I can get a quick meal? Where? Uh -huh. Ocupamos lo mismo nuevamente. La frase, work, I can, I can, I can get, get a quick, get a quick, quick meal. meal. Uh -huh. Can you tell me where I can get a quick meal? Excellent. We recycle a lot with this structure. Next, how late do the nightclubs stay open? What? <laughs> Do you, know Do you know how late the night oh, closes early. stay open? The night closes stay, stay open. open. Mm -hmm. The nightclubs stay, stay open. open. Stay open. 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 All we did is add the phrase and remove do. That's it. Um, guys, do you know how late the nightclubs stay open? Who can give me that answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now one. it's closed. Yeah, right now it's closed. That's right. <laughs> How early do the trains run? How early do you train say do you know how early the trains run? Run. run. The trains run. 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 Exactly. Run. All we did is eliminate the do. And the last one, where's an inexpensive hotel in this area? You know do where you know an inexpensive where hotel in this area is? This area is. Uh -huh. Where an inexpensive hotel in this area is. Very good. So guys, congratulations. Now you know how to use indirect questions. All you got to do is practice. So I sent a link to you 
So you can see that it can be used in pretty much the tenses. Um, practice it, look for the patterns, and thank you very much for giving me these minutes out of your time. Gracias por darme tiempo de su, de, para resolver esto. Eso demuestra mucho su compromiso. So guys, Don't aplique the, the quarter time, okay? Uh, okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much. This is Alejandro Narbona. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. 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 bye.